Welcome back guys, it's your boy Broncos Guru, and you know what, if you can't tell, I've been reading your comments on the other videos because you guys have been asking for this one. So here we go, the seven types of women boaters you will meet out on the water. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and hit the like button below, subscribe, heck, leave a comment, you never know, the next video I make might be yours. Number one on our list, guys, is going to be the unicorn. That's right. She's out there. She does exist. So one Saturday, you and your boys are all out hanging out, having a good time. You meet this beautiful lady. She says, what are you doing tomorrow? She says, why don't you come on my boat? What? Hold on. Wait a minute. You own a boat? That's right, guys. She's not only into that boating lifestyle, she owns that boating lifestyle. She will do everything from drive her boat, trailer her boat, launch it by herself. She'll even do some light maintenance. Anything that you can possibly imagine anybody doing on a boat, she's got it down pat. You start telling your boys, man, I can't believe I found this girl, and you quickly realize you've made a mistake by telling your boys because your boys are now all over this girl as well, just waiting for you to mess up. But this isn't a catch and release situation, so you need to get her friends involved to keep your boys away from her because this is the one you're going to lock down, guys. Once you find this girl, you want to hold on to her tight. Don't let her get out of your sight because if you do, your boys are going to snatch her up. And number two on our list, guys, is that girl that wants to help. This really is one of my favorites. She is committed to that boating lifestyle, just not fully committed like the unicorn. In other words, she's not going out and buying her own boat, but she will gladly get on yours and assist in any way she can. She'll help get the docking lines together, maybe help do some light rigging if that kind of stuff is needed. She will safely assist you in getting your boat to the dock without it getting any scuffs or scratches. She will even do a little light captaining if you ask her to. Heck, if you got a good one, she may even take that truck back the boat down the ramp for you so you can get it off. And then at the end of the day, she'll go back and retrieve it and help you get that boat back on the trailer. She's not really afraid to get her hands dirty, guys. She really is one of those girls that's all around into the boating lifestyle. She still has that pretty same adventurous personality that a lot of us have in this lifestyle and really enjoys getting out on the water no matter what. She can go sit in the front of the bow, guys, hang out with the kids and have a good time and enjoy it, but she just knows that right time to jump into action anytime it's in a situation where assistance is needed. We really enjoy these girls, guys. If you find one of these, these ones are keepers as well and go ahead and hold on tight too. And number three on our list, guys, is going to be Rail Candy. That's right. She's a little bit different than the first two women we talked about because she's really not into that boating lifestyle, guys. She's there more for the socialization part. Maybe get a few pictures to put up on our social media. Just say she was out on the boat for the day. That's really all she's more interested in. She's not going to assist with docking lines. She's not going to do any captaining. She's definitely not backing a trailer or anything like that down. Her high priority for the day was just to figure out which bikini she was going to have and see who else was going on the boat for that day to make sure the right people recognized her for being out there. Rail Candy really is still fun to have around, guys. You just got to decide if it's something you want to put up with. If you need assistance on the boat, you may want to try and find one of the other women boaters first and still bring the Rail Candy out just so she can sit around and do what she does, which is look good by the rail. And number four on our list, guys, well, that one's going to be the Lush. Guys, we all know this girl. It doesn't matter what time it is, where she's at, what she's doing. It is beard 30 and she's ready to get this party started. Well, boating is just another excuse for her to be able to do that, guys. She doesn't really care about the boating lifestyle. She's not going to assist with docking or any of that stuff. She just wants to make sure that cooler is stocked, guys. Now, don't be wrong. She is one of the lives of the party. And especially once you get out there to the cove, she's going to bounce around to everybody's boat and enjoy herself and have a good time. Whether she knows them or not, she's diving into their cooler. By the end of the day, she's going to be all their best friend. Somehow, she'll get sick on your boat and you'll ban her, but it doesn't matter because you know what, the next time you're out of the cove, she always finds her way back onto your boat anyway. Somebody will have to explain that one to me one day. And number five on our list, guys, is going to be doesn't want a boat girl. That's right. I can't believe these people exist, but they sure as heck do, guys. So they're going to try and come out a couple times a year just to appease you. But the only reason they're really there is because you're into that lifestyle. And they just get sick of seeing their husband, boyfriend, kids, or whatever go away on the boat. But the whole time they're out there on the boat, they're going to be staring at their cell phones, wanting to know, is it time to go in yet? Guys, you're usually only going to have to deal with these a couple times a year. but So you just suck it up and deal with it as you go, man. But I do feel bad for those guys that have this one. And number six on our list, guys, is thinks she wants to boat girl. I'm not going to lie, this one might even be worse than doesn't want a boat girl. She's going to get involved in every aspect of this boating process. You've talked her into it, you guys are going to get a boat. She's got these dreams of grandeur, you two doing evening cruises, hanging out and getting around. So you go ahead and take her to the boat show and start showing her this beautiful sun on console you've been after for a while. You know what? She starts looking into it, thinking of some of the things that she wants to do on a boat, and all of a sudden it happens, guys. That's right. She relegates you to the pontoon. She is now committed that you are going to get that boat. Here's the problem with this one. She's never going to go boating with you. Instead, she's going to decide she'd rather go have lunch with Deb instead of hanging out on that boat. And you've already been relegated to the pontoon style. Sorry for you, dude. And guys, number seven on our list is going to be the retired lady boater. That's right. She's quit that nine to five and her nine to five now includes nothing but getting up in the morning to decide where she wants to take that boat to. 
This one really does have a lot of experience, guys, and can do just about anything on the boat. So she's almost as close to the unicorn as anything else on the list because she can handle the boat by herself. But heck, she's even better than unicorn in some senses is she doesn't have to work, so she can do this 24-7 any day she wants. That's right out there on the water. I really am jealous of this one because she is living the lifestyle that most of us can only dream about. Hopefully one day we'll all get there as well, guys. We really hope that. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, heck, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.